Serbians. Uh, did you know anything about them at all coming into this? Because apparently they've been at the top of the Serbian 1.6 and CSS scene for a while. Uh, I actually haven't heard of a single of their players and not of the team, so uh, <laughs> no, basically. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> have you? Uh, do you know what? I'd love to appear all knowledgeable and say that I have, but uh, I would be lying. I'd be talking um, out my ass. So no, I absolutely haven't. And I love, I, I love this. We're, we're in the knife round here on, on Nuke, and you can see that very games. They're so keen that even now at like half one in the morning, they've got knife tactics, knife strats. So they're doing this little lineup in the hut, but. Uh, I know I'd fancy the Serbians to take the knife round for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I, I <laughs> you can see as well. Is that some <laughs> sort of French thing? Uh, which you know, <laughs> it is. It is. I mean, I'm a very good. The only team I've ever seen that are that uh, keen to have knife strats. So, and I'm gonna call it right now. I I, I don't think esports uh, will win. Uh, mm. But I think they will manage to get at least 10 rounds. Well, put it this way, they've already had a hell of a tournament. The, the yeah. wins they've secured, I mean, in particular, 3D Max, uh, Lemon Dogs. I mean, these are teams that were talked about in contention as being amongst the top 10 in Europe. Uh, and what the Serbians have achieved here is absolutely phenomenal. They deserve all the respect and all the plaudits, no matter where they end up finishing in the tournament. And hopefully, oh. they can use this as a platform to uh, get uh, some real big sponsorship and get to more events. And that is a great little 1v3 knife clutch. So, you know what? I just... Look, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out on... I'm going to go balls out on a limb here and I'm going to say they're going to win. They're going to win 16-14. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm fully behind the Serbs, man. Okay, even harder. Who is going to be the MVP for the Serbs? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Uh, I've watched one of their games. I'll, right, I'm going to go with Kassad. I like Kassad, the name. Okay, yeah. Okay. No, do you know what? I, I heard he's good with a knife and <laughs> he's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go with him. But uh, literally, that, that is the most uninformed opinion I've probably given <laughs> in my, uh, my entire history of casting. So, uh, what, what about you? Qu quick, uh, who's going to be the danger man for Verity Games? Uh, maybe um, Scream, since it's a close combat map, I don't know. Interesting, interesting. Well, uh, this is what makes what would make it more amazing if Serbia were to win. Uh, this is what we call, uh, or we used to call in source, DE France. Uh, it, you know, very games pretty much set the benchmark of how to play this map. So it's going to be absolutely uh, incredible uh, if, Serb if the Serbs can do it. But we shall see, and we've got a fast pistol strat here, and they've just literally found out no flashes, no smokes, nothing. They are going in raw. Kenny S is going to get that first kill, uh, and then uh, whoever that was answering back, I didn't see. It was Emmy who got a kill there. Scream's going to weigh in with one. NBK is going to weigh in with another. But KGR, who loves Ange apparently, I bet Ange's a happy person, weighs in with two brilliant headshots just coming around from the hut. So all of a sudden, it's a 2v2 two 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 situation. Very games quite sensibly dropped down vents. So we've got some crucial kills coming in. NBK is going to get the first. So it's going to be on KGR to make a 1v2 clutch if they're to take this pistol round. He's going to know that there's one on the left there. Oh, he just couldn't get his aim to readjust and in the end it is MBK who uh, gives a nice early pistol round for yeah, his team. Yeah, absolutely and I feel like I don't know who it was but the, the guy from uh, eSports dropped uh, the A floor there didn't manage to get a single frag and that was pretty much uh, what decided that round. Yeah, I, I, it, it's one of those unfortunate things where it's like, you know, there were a couple of good little individual moments there where you thought, oh, maybe they're going to turn this round on its head and it just didn't really happen for them. So I would expect uh, these ecos to pretty much go the way we would expect and give very games a uh, three nil kind of lead. Uh, what I think it would be interesting to talk about just briefly, uh, and yeah, I'll bring up the overview so we can just have a little look at uh, how it's all shaping up and whatnot. Um, Nuke, we talked a bit about the evolution of Dust 2 uh, across each version of Counter-Strike. Has Nuke changed a lot? Uh, well, the new stairs on Yard it really makes it more uh, dynamic. Actually, both in favor of T and CT, since you can back up faster, but T can go down the Yard faster. So, uh, I think it's, it's, it's an equal win for both teams. And so uh, you think it's pretty even, Matt, because I mean, it used to be massively um, on know, CT side. No, 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 it's, it's CT side. That, I mean, the changes is like... Ah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. balanced it, right? Yeah, I yeah, see. Exactly. Okay, so I was going to say, because... Uh, like before. Well, I mean, as, uh, with the smokes working, it definitely gives uh, the terrorists opportunities to get into promising positions. It's easier to neutralize offers on the outside now, and uh, it, it, it definitely has become more balanced. Uh, I think uh, the way that Very Games play it, though, is really masterful. They make the T side look very easy. 
they can penetrate certain you know parts of the map that other teams don't seem to be able to and they can do it in a very smooth way a very stealthy way almost so the cts you know they don't really know where they're uh, getting attacked from so uh very games all over that in the sea cut and make it two and zero uh, no surprises there but uh, we're going to see what uh, the subs going to do here yeah i think they're, they're going to stay for um, Eco. i, no I actually want to talk with one of the changes i yeah guess if i'm right it's volcano who did like the latest map it was Sal, yeah, and uh, as i heard a, a rumor you know that uh, there's no way to get to the short door in the lower bomb site. Right. I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I think I heard that as well. I don't know if that's something that's been rectified. But yeah, but uh, is that because he was just lazy and didn't fix it, or is that in the original new? Oh no, it's not. Definitely not in the original. I mean, that's that's something he's added uh, for so competitive it's balance. It's just yeah. so weird. And oh my god, this looks like they. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, well, while that's happening. It's gone into a 5v3 on Eco for the serve. So I want everyone at home to start chanting and willing these guys on. Sure, we all love very games, but uh, Serbia have uh, won the hearts and minds. But Existence is going to try and uh, change that. But while that happens, you can see as well that, uh, well, <laughs> they're just actually somehow out aiming very games at the moment with pistols to make it a 4v2. I actually think they're going to win this. I mean, only two guys left and they... Uh with only 40 seconds Does left Doesn't look on like the they've been able to pick up guns though, which uh, is definitely a factor in whether or not they're going to win. Nikolin, Nikolin Ho <laughs> has uh, got um, two kills, and as Kenny S is going to get uh, one as well, make it a 3v2. Very interesting. Uh, spanning around. Oh. Yeah, well, Kenny S, he went too aggressive there, I think, and it could cost him. KGR is going to try and get them up to his advantage, and he's going to come up. Clutch, I mean, that is just absolutely huge to do it at this stage uh, in the tournament, to actually get that eco round and a break up that momentum. So we haven't seen many eco rounds this tournament at all. Uh, in fact, that might even be the first. It's definitely the first I've casted on. Um, so huge, huge play from the Serbs. And again, it just goes to show you that these guys are no joke. They really do deserve to be respected. Yeah, absolutely. And... Uh I mean, it, that is so. If they manage to win this round, they will get so much momentum, and they might be able to bring a lot of rounds together. So, very important round right now. So, well, let's see what they're gonna do here. And KGR just—he isn't stuck on that ladder, is he? That, yeah, that, I was gonna say that. That's deliberate. I thought it might have been a bug. <laughs> no, you, you'd be surprised. There's still bits where you get stuck on things, and you kind of clip. And he's, he's lagging around. I think the last thing we want to do is have a have another pause. Kenny S is going to get an entry frag, though. Uh, MBK is going to get another one. You can see Scream is trying to pepper away. And that's just some great uh, recoil control there. Just a nice little tap, tap right on the head. And this is a full buy for the Serbs. So far, they've uh, lost three of their number. And uh, it's going to be incredibly hard for them to win this round. Very games just pushing into upper. They've pretty much got every angle covered. There's just... Uh, French terrorists swarming all over this upper bomb side. Bomb is going to go down. Scream's going to make that plant. And it's going to be interesting to see what the Serbs decide to do. I'm not too sure what that was about. Bit of panic fire. But um, it looks like they're going to play for some exits. You can see that very games are just having a little hunt around, making sure they're not getting caught out uh, for anything stupid and overlooking something quite simple. And then I imagine the hunt will begin. You can see KGR here hiding in the garage area. And he is going to get that one kill, so that's going to give away his position. Can he get another one? He does. Might be able to get three. I mean, that, that other one's pretty low. Peaks oh. at the perfect time for a headshot. And I tell you what, he's played that brilliantly. Uh, some great exit frags. They might lose the round, but that is going to be a huge, huge factor moving forward to take those three guns from Berry Games. Yeah, absolutely. And they did win that eco, so they have really, really good economy. So, uh, yeah, as we see, they will buy this round, even though they have... Uh, one p one pistol. Or They're playing incredibly smart. The thing that's really impressed me is like maybe you could understand a group of players coming from somewhere and having like good aim. Yeah. Because they practice all the time. But for them to be so astute about the balance of the game, the tactics required to be able to kind of you know predict what very games are going to do. This shows a, a side that has done its homework, a side that's got a lot of experience. And people have been messaging me all day saying you know Serbia have been top of their scene for ages and I just kind of dismissed that because you know yeah. I guess you would wouldn't you you would think well what's the Serbian scene like 10 players or something but you know these guys have been awesome so far and it might they might be 3-1 down but as you say their economy is going to be locked down 
and uh, you know they've definitely got a platform on which to build him, especially on the CT side of Nuke. So let's see what's happening. Berry Games flashing onto this upper bomb site, and you can see uh, the serves are just such uh, well positioned here to shut down that push before, but even had a chance to begin. Expert recoil control there from YNK, and wow, just again. That very games do those rushes so well. They coordinate the flashes, and they were just locked down instantly. Yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna see an eco now from very games, thanks to um, who was it? KGR. Yeah, it was KGR. Get, in there, yeah, who picked like three kills late in the, the last round. So, uh, I mean, if they win this round flawlessly, with which, which, <coughs> which they should, yep. they uh, have a really good economy. Have you noticed anything tactically about the, the, the setups? Has anything like stood out to you? Like maybe the way every game is spreading out or the way the Serbs are lining up? Uh, well, the thing's pretty standard. They have some good anti flashes. Like when they <coughs> held A last round, they were actually standing with flashes to counter uh, very game flashes. And again, that, that's advanced tactics, right? That, that's nip stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe not nip <laughs> stuff, but it's like it's, it's n a lesser team wouldn't do it. It's like. You know a team has a good A flash round, so basically you know, okay, we're going to get flashed, so the best thing we can do is just flash them back. Well, that does make it three for three, and we're going to see, uh, again, the five rifle buy uh, from Very Games, so uh, we haven't really seen a lot of AWP work yet uh, moving forward, and you can see the Serbs as well, no problems there, absolutely not, as uh, my colleague rightfully pointed out, they have got it locked down at the moment money-wise. So, just having to watch what Existence is trying to do a little jump peek just to see if there is anyone outside and relay that information to his team. In the meantime, MBK is going to be spamming away in lobby just to kind of maybe bait some people out, maybe make them think. And <laughs> YNK has just pulled off a ridiculous headshot there that uh, auto director missed. And Kenny S uh, is going to answer back. But uh, first blood goes the way of the Serbs. They're going to have a little spray off here. Smith is going to get the better of it, but only just down to 12 HP. It's a 4v3 situation in favor of every game's MBK is still in that lobby area. You can see that Cassad's just watching the, uh, the crow's nest from on top of Hut. Kenny S is uh, outside with a Galil. And this is still doable for... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the, the Serbs can definitely take this round. I mean, they've got the positional advantage, I'd say, here. And uh, this, uh, Smith is on low health. So they need to really kind of just hold the nerve here, control that recoil, and they're done. So that's Smith taken down. That's another great kill there from uh, Nikolin. And then Kenny S is going to come around. Oh, wow. Great adjustment of aim to get a double headshot there. All of a sudden, it's a 1v1. EMI, though, is going to adjust it and take down Kenny S. He's gone into the crouch. And the Serbs are in the lead. It's four rounds to three. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I, I can just feel it. I can feel it in my water. I got, I got nothing but belief. And it looks like, are we going to see another eco from Perry Games as well? Uh, yeah, I think so. And as you say, they really look. it really looks like they're playing like a top team. It's not that Perry Games is playing bad. I mean, no. They have good tactics, they went into really good positions in that 3v4 situation. They, they just played it absolutely perfectly. Well, Very Games are doing this outside boost as, as well, and it's interesting they're spending a lot of time kind of focusing on the outside, because realistically they've not played it massively uh, aggressive, but YNK is just loving it at the moment. He's pulling off those headshots with such ease, and EMI is getting pushed here in the, uh, in the ramp room. Gonna get a kill as well. Existence. Gonna take down. Well, who who was that? Was that K uh, KGR? Our friend KGR. Uh, he's been uh, removed from the equation in this round as well. So it's a three v two situation in favour of the Serbs. Existence pretty low. Kenny S. Hundred HP. Having a look around. Uh, gonna go in through May, and uh, he's gonna again trade some damage. Nothing too severe. 45 seconds on the clock, and they're going for this spam here. Existence all but dead. He's on his last legs with 3 HP. Kenny S not that far behind him. And the Serbs are just looking resolute, disciplined. Crosshairs well positioned. And uh, it looks like there's no way in for very games at the moment. Certainly Existence, you could kill him with a feather duster at the moment. He is very low on health. Perhaps we'll see another Lions-style suicide coming in. Yeah, maybe we will. We will. We're <laughs> going to see uh, EMI here going to get Kenny S in a second now. Yeah. Yep, there we go. So it is all on the 3 HP existence. And yep, not going to do a great deal. So uh, EMI makes it 5-3 uh, in favor of Serbia. And uh, well, 
I I'm telling you, this is a great. No, we're having a quick look at the frag charts here. You can see that uh, it is KGR who's at the top with 11 for four. Kenny S for very games on uh, seven for seven. Smith down at the bottom on one for six. And Kassad, the man I said to watch, uh, down there on one for five. <laughs> so uh, come on, Kassad, don't let me down, man. I'm behind you, bro. Um, but yeah, t t this Team Esports Serbia looking incredible at the moment. Very games. They play this map so well. They've got such a, a lexicon, uh, an abundance of uh, you know strats for this map. Um, it's it's incredible to see them even as T's, uh, kind of being really pushed out of it. But uh, they have got an entry pick there. YNK was uh, kind of flashed out a bit outside. Was in a bit of an awkward position. Got pushed, and they're looking to kind of isolate the outside man. And you know, there's two points of interest you want to control on this map. You do want to control the ramp room or outside because they're the ones that give you the most access points at any given time. So uh, while that happens, Smith pushes in and takes out EMI. So five on three in favour of the French. And I, I really like the decision for Vero Games, trying to yeah. push under the ladder instead of going down the stairs. I feel like most cities is like too focused on the stairs. Yeah. And basically, you can just go under the ladder and just win the round. Like well, this like this game. is completely typical of them. I mean, they were one of the first teams in Source to take the 1.6 tactic of boosting outside yeah. on the hut into Crows and use it in 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 Nuke. And I know that's going to sound like, well, why did no one else think of it? But they were using it, you know, in, in, in high-profile games where the stakes were high, and they would pretty much dominate outside. And that's why they're so comfortable out there, even with these changes. Yeah. on the map. They feel comfortable going out there and getting picked. Interesting that now we see YNK's picked up an AWP, so he feels he needs to get a bit more distance and a bit more penetration, and you can see what that's done for him. That has given him that first frag, so he knows that they're going to come for him every round, but now he's going to be a bit better equipped to deal with it, and in the end wasn't able to get a second kill there on screen. Probably should have been able to, but Scream does get that kill, so it is now four on four. NBK in his default position, just kind of uh, waiting for any rotates. Spamming around in the lobby, just uh, making Team Serbia have to think about what they do. And I think this uh, round is in quite heavily favor of Very Games, actually, since they have uh, they have that yard and they have a four v four situation. Yeah, again, this is this is why taking outside is so advantageous because anyone who peeks, you've got all the areas covered, and you can see that they have wrapped around now, so they are going to drop down. They are going to get into this area, and uh, MBK is going to take down. I kill Kassad, who's having not a great game. He's going to peek out of the vents, and uh, it's all on Nikolin. So probably he's going to save. It is a 1v4 situation. Don't really see him wanting to chance this. You can see we're just on uh, Kenny S cam, just having a little look around. and Scream as well, doing the same thing. So... Just going to save his weapon. Yeah, it's it's the smart play. Play for exits and, and just try and do some damage. But this is uh, obviously going to break up that uh, Serbian momentum. Very nice. Going to tie it up at five rounds apiece. But uh, Serbia won't be too worried. Even at this juncture, they'll be still thinking, you know, we can do... We can do damage in their T strats among most of the maps that we've seen them play on. You know, I've been watching on the uh, from the uh, analysis room. Uh, you know, they they look just as good on T because their aims are pretty sharp as well as their brains. So they do like to get a lot of one bullet peaks. Yeah, absolutely. But it's it feels like Very Games has warmed up now. I mean, they're playing a lot better than they did this morning. That's for sure. Oh, definitely. But I mean. You know, the only way was up, really, for, for, you know, from where they were. They were struggling. They got clowned by a Nexus. So, yeah. uh, you know, they, they definitely needed to have that metaphorical team huddle and get their stuff together. Uh, anyway, uh, after a few drops, Serbia have been able to buy. And uh, I think we're going to see uh, a push here soon. A lo lot of guys in the lobby right yeah, now. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just waiting for those flashes to come in. Uh, not a lot of people like to go in dry and see us go, but... Uh, it's definitely not as effective as uh, the skylight flashes used to be in, in, in Source, and certainly 1.6 as well, where the flashes, you know, those flashes on upper were yeah, yeah. You know, devastating. CSGO, it seems to be a bit easier to evade them. Kenny yeah. S has uh, gone right outside to uh, T Red. He's going to take down these uh, new stairs. Just going to um, kind of get behind, and uh, the smoke's gone down. Very games are pushing ramp room. And uh, they're going to get one, Eli, but then oh, another team kill. Very games. MBK is going to shoot Smiths in the back. MBK is going to get the kill as well, but uh, 
He took a lot of damage in the process, so it's a 4v3 situation. That trade actually worked massively in the favor of Serbia thanks to that team kill. Kenny S is behind and he actually... Yeah, he did get there. That's where he was uh, gunning towards. Uh, Kasa drops down and takes Kenny S out of the round. So we've got a 3v2 situation in favor of Serbia again. MBK is going to be covering the vents while the bomb gets planted. It's now a 2v2 situation and the bomb is going to be ticking away. Scream is going to get into this side hall as well. So they are going to double up there on the uh, swingy doors and just watching uh, window side and you can see we're on screen cam YNK is just trying to fake this uh, fake this defuse knows that they're both there I think MBK is going to get the one MBK is going to get the two and in the end that promising situation for Serbia got shut down uh, what was the turning point in that round? Uh, I think it was like Kenny S going down the vents mm. he actually like got so much information able to cut off all their backup and uh, I don't know really how he... Ha did you see how we got down the vents? Uh, he went down the back stairs, like oh, the, from, from the outside. Oh, yeah, okay, there okay. just wasn't anyone covering that angle. So he just literally managed to use that new feature of the map. And perhaps that's something uh, Serbia haven't really thought about. You know, I don't know how much practice they've had in Go, so I can't really say. But yeah. um, if, uh, if, it's, if they're very new to the game, you know, perhaps that's not something you would think about. And yeah. uh, it, it would catch you by surprise. But uh, they're on an eco now as well. So. Yeah, it's quite smart actually having four guys pushing out the ramp, one guy going mm. really like 10 seconds after he goes down the stairs and yeah. just completely sh shut down any backup from the vents. Well, we've seen a lot of teams try and employ that backstab. Uh, yeah. We saw CRG, for example, doing it earlier and, uh, you know, there's been other teams that have, have been doing it. We saw Na'Vi execute it quite well in a few rounds as well earlier. Um, but uh, no one's really executed it quite so well as that. So that really was the round decider, that, that decision to send Kenny S down there. So uh, very games are currently just dominating this round. As expected, it is an eco. And so you can see that they're in good positions. Kenny S again, just far from the madding crowd and able to uh, just pick off unsuspecting counter-terrorists. Two men standing now uh, armed with pistols. And uh, they're not really going to be able to do anything. YNK is now the last man. I think this round.